one owner car guy and what I've got here for you today is a beautiful one owner 1989 Peugeot 505 SW8 station wagon pretty cool unique and rare car to find in America let alone one owner um, this car is just everybody looks at it definitely not something you see on the road every day and it is just a good little runner it's clean it's nice shape um, interior is just nice as it gets I love a one and two owner car everybody just takes care of them better you pay big money and keep something all its life you maintain it better and you can tell just on the cars that I get that people do love them and take care of them um, like this car has a nice newer sh I gotta show you right now I mean there's there titties all over the side and more tread than you can imagine. God, there's got to be 80-90% tread yet left. But Pirelli P6s on it. I mean, the people put good items on the car and put good money into it. I get some, used to get some higher owner cars and they'd have like cheap tires, Ling Long, Ching Dong tire things. I mean, that's just not what you want on your Peugeot. So, that's your once round outside. I'm going to go ahead and show you the underneath while I'm here doing this, I got a guy looking at a car too. I'm trying to bounce back and forth a little bit. Worst thing you come up with under here is a little dust on it. So clean. And it takes a second for my camera to adjust. And once it does, you can really see it's just a clean, clean car. And I'm sure you find a wet gasket or something, damp seal or something. It's just not something that pours all over. It's not a leaker. There you go. Not a leaker. Beautiful floor pans. And like I say, it takes my camera a second to understand where it is and such, but I buy a good camera to where I can actually show you all this stuff and make sure you know what you're getting. I mean, that's a clean California one owner car that's in great shape. 2.2i. Four, eight forward facing seats. Yes, sir. Um, I'm going to go around and let me show you the underneath. A little dense right there. I'm going to go ahead and show you the underneath in the back here. Hang on! And I'm going to start that for them. It's an older car. And look at that. Just clean as can be. bear up there. Okay, well, that's the underneath and all. I'm going to go ahead and give you a second around here in a second, and then we'll go down below and show you the interior after test drive and such. One owner car guy. Doc. Well, I guess now I'll go up close and show you anything that I see on it that's a problem or anything like that. A beautiful car. And, you know, there's a little bit of Maybe difference of color between here and here. I don't know if there's any paint work done. You know what? It's between here and here. It is. And not a huge difference, but maybe one was painted at one point or another. Um, and then I want to go ahead and show you right here down this side, just beautiful as it gets. Your rubber seal right here is kind of down there. See there? I need to, I want to get behind it with something and push it up on it. Um, tires, like I say, are in great shape. A um, little chip right there. A little chip right here. A little ding. And things like that's the most of anything you're going to find on it. The roof is in absolutely great shape. One down the back and all. Bumpers. Great shape. And all these pieces are nice and tight and not cracked. This is likely one of the nicest Peugeot SW8 wagons in the United States, in the world. This likely is maybe the nicest SW8 wagon anywhere for sale. Um, it's in great shape. Um, your trim, it's a little discolored, like across there. Not a whole lot, but something to mention. I try to mention everything on them. I want people to know anything that's potentially wrong. Um, that's dust. A little chip right there. 
That's bee poo. Little chip right there. And chip paint on the front bumper. Now I could have these repainted for you if you wanted. A little scuff there. They're not all cracked up or anything. But there is some cracking in the paint over the plastic or urethane or whatever you want to call these bumpers. Great shape. A couple of chips along here. A couple have been touched up. But this is just a little bit off. Just a bit. This lens is a little yellow. Could be because of that chip right there on it. This one's a lot not as yellow. A lot not as yellow, yeah, that. Like I said, M. Pirelli's are great shape. Wheel wells, great shape. 2.2i. Little bit of tiny bubbles right there around that. Nowhere else around my field or anywhere. California car, great shape, just great shape. Wow. The sticker here is peeling, is what that is. And it's usually where this piece, same thing as the other side, would stick right up to there. The rubber's just wore down. I'm gonna go ahead and do a test drive for you now. Hopefully we got enough camera here. My camera gets hot on a hot day like this. Um, here's your auto check. One owner. High score. Um, Oh, where's the keys? Right there. Got a few keys for it. Has a hundred and eighty-four, eight forty-one on it. AC blows and everything, but it's not as cold as it should be. I don't know if it's what it is, but I know it don't blow as cold as it should be. Your radio works. Anti-theft actual Peugeot cassette player. Here's Breeder. She's not feeling so well. In case you didn't know, Chinese dog food recall, and it's your chicken wrap jerky treats. There's Breeder, she is not feeling well, not running around, and she's been poisoned by Chinese treats. And I just got them at my local pet food store. Watch out for the chicken treats, it's, it's a bad deal. And I lost one dog five years ago from the same kind of thing. Back to this Peugeot, I just want to get the word out. Wagon train is the kind I bought, but look up pet food, dog food recall, and you'll see a lot of info about it. This thing drives nice, smooth. Over time, you know, it's a one owner car. Whoever had it took care of it, loved it, replaced it, stuff needed. You don't see oil strewn all underneath it, so you know he took care of it and maintained it. Um, get my window down. It's about 100 today. 100! 95 or something? I don't know. This person's gonna give me a ticket here. This is the worst light in town. You got the cameras over there. Okay. By this year, Peugeot figured out how to get the um, key over on the right hand side for America model at least. This car drives nice. I'm sure over time you'll do a tune up or replace a hose or a belt or have alternator go or who knows. Drive this thing every day for years, you'll you'll fix something. But we ain't fix nothing, man. We just drove it and it is a nice driver, shifts, steers, and everything just like it should. Um yeah. Once again it's Nathan 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. My website, www.oneownercarguy.com. Check that out for anything you need on there. Let's see the horn. And the horn don't honk. Wipers work, but the horn don't honk. Cruise control. Oh, a little Vega? Cosworth Vega or something? I don't know. Cool car. Mark Chestnut, September 30th. Now if there's any kind of cars, trucks, SUVs you need, take a look at all the stuff out here. There is some nice stuff. I sell them cheap. 
Let's go, man. This here ought to be a good area to show you the interior here. Uh, we're gonna go forward a bit more now. We'll just wait right here. This would be good. Now, the only thing I have inside that is an issue, somehow we broke this little latch holder thing. Got the original owner's manual here. Pretty cool. The maintenance book. And the spine is broke on that one a little bit. Actually, no, there's three books. That's what it is. Yeah, it's three books. And your auto check, which I showed you your super high score, and then it's one owner. Let's see here. Ah! I just got the first page of it. Ah! Mileage all checks out and everything, though. Okay. Oh, yeah. Can't close it. So, roll the window up and show you the interior show you under the hood and all that good stuff um, I'm taking a video right now oh. they're up top if you need anything um, door panel great condition dash and everything is in great condition um, pedals have hardly any pedal wear it's just amazing how clean this car is oh I got the lights on somehow here Hang on, let me figure this out and try and page somebody to help me here, by the way. Oh, mm -hmm. that's a, oh, that's a wiper. Okay, how'd I put the blinkers on now? Come on. I guess I didn't. Eh, I didn't. Let's try it again. Here, let's see. Not the wipers. It's not the blinkers. Let's see here. Oh, it's telling me my door's open. It's just the ding ding's not there. It's not going ding. That's what it is. Now, I'm pretty thorough. I like you to see what is and isn't wrong with a car. And when I hear something or see something, I take notice. And if you're a YouTube watcher, some people mention things I appreciate it. Bring stuff up, talk to me. Ah, that's cool. Huh? Everything's a touch and that's beepers from it not clicker is from it not. I don't know what that is. Wow, that might be something to do with the ashtray. What is that? Oh money. Money. Okay. Um, your rear windows. that and dash is in great shape I might have said that let me go ahead and pop the hood while I'm in here now, I know I told you about those pedals but there you go again just the dust for me I love the lion on these hardly any wear on anything this is just actually foam from the back of this thing falling up is what that is Kick panel has nowhere. Your lion has nowhere. Here, let me get this. Rip this up for you. Come on. Now I had a guy ask me about where I got this stuff, and if I, I sure would like to send him some, but you can't restick it once you unstick it from the roll. It sticks to itself. If that makes any sense. You know, having no ding is almost as annoying as having a ding. Oh, it might be reminding you you have the keys in it, too. That's interesting. Seats are in great shape. Not all tore up or anything. Beautiful condition.
Door panels, beautiful shape, beautiful shape. Everything on this car, just in great shape. I love a... Well, my camera battery overheated there, but I got the, the full auto check now. No accidents, it says. But see that front on there, there's been a little paint. Let me see the miles all check out. So, I'll actually take this one with me. This is in the glove box if you would. I'm going to show you in the back. We'll do the other in about three minutes here when I finish going around. Let's see, you're going to help me put the seats down. You could do that here. I got the jack. Now I think that it goes in one of these. Like so. Yeah. That's how the jack's supposed to go in here. I guess somebody was just one jack off and didn't get it in there correctly. And actually pop that back up if you would. I'm going to go ahead and get a video from this way. And that's perfect. We'll lay them both down. I'll show you that this here... See, now this is where it gets me. I don't know how to pop all these things here. That's pretty cool. Whole seat pops up. Cool little mechanism. Kind of like the old 504s in a way. Um, does it do that? On, can we pop the other side up there? Let me show you the front here. And then I'll show you under the hood. Oh yeah, that other side does the same thing, of course. And do the back seat as well now, and we'll kind of summarize the interior up here. God, it's in great shape. Whoever had this took very good care of it. You know, right here, this is this cover is just a little loose there underneath the frayed right there. Um, dash is in great condition. Has it got a? It does. It has a double opening glove compartment there and I never even looked at the top one eh, cool, too cool little latch it needs there dash is in great shape I know I've shown you that but just in great shape um, a little loose right there and the cover is missing from that it stays in there fine but when you pull it down it wants to come out and Ooh, that one's got the cover, but makes a squeak when you move it. I know that much now. Okay, we'll show you under the hood, and then I'll move this thing around. I'm going to go ahead and show you in the back first. Pretty slick, man. Stuff all lays down. You all plywood back here, two by one. It's a work truck. Do not hold here when closing tailgate. I guess that's where I want to see it feel. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Probably where you don't slam your hand in it or something. But, that's your innards. See all that? Headliner's in great shape. I do love these. Peugeot Carl, that'll get your spare down. A little chipped piece on that one, maybe. I do love these Peugeot cars. Well designed. But this here, I don't know what them little button clips are. That one's loose. Great shape. Love them hubcaps. I don't know what year cars quit having real hubcaps. But this one still has them. U.S. Made in France, U.S. model. Now under the hood is super, super clean. Giving you some close-ups here. And I'll give you the far and away look too. I believe it has been, yeah, it's been retrofit to R134A. Um, compressor spins free. Get down here. Yeah. But, Oh, it's got the Citroen logo on it too. But it doesn't blow ice cold. A little couple chewy spots on there. 
stickers everywhere. Nice car. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shut this now and I'll move the car and show you in a different light and that'll be about it. Um, Trent, I'm going to move it here now. Go ahead and close that up if you would. Close it up if you would. I'm going to end the video and then we'll take some pictures right now. I got the keys in my pocket here somewhere. Interesting key. It's got a slat in the end there. You can actually see through it. Ooh, through the keyhole. Interesting. I'm going to take them three off the same ring right now. Because that just seems really, really stupid. Because, um... Wouldn't it suck to lose all three keys at once? Yes. Yes, it would, as a matter of fact. Very comfortable car. Very nice car. And that's the end of your test drive and your once around, your twice around. I just like to get them down here in the shade now and kind of give you a, a third around, I guess you'd say, to where you can see it in the different light setting and with the different shadows and you get a more complete look at anything that may be wrong with the car, which on something like this, man, there ain't a whole lot to talk about. Up close, down far, whatever. It is one clean car. See, I don't know if I noticed that. I know I showed you a couple, but there's a ding here and a ding here. Um, and the black, just a little bit faded along there, and actually aluminum or stainless showing through. Um, other than that, beautiful car. That's about everything I can show you on it. Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. God, I love all the chrome on these. That is your third around, once around, twice around, all the times around. Showed you under the hood, showed you in the back, showed you it all. Take some photos now and check out my website, www.oneownercarguide.com. If you're looking for one of these, stop! Call me. You're not going to find one this clean, this nice, this well maintained. It's a beautiful car. Nathan, 406 544 6919, one owner, car guy. Getting ready to drive this thing back up top, and I figured I'd take you with me. I don't know if there's supposed to be a cover on here. I'm thinking there's supposed to be some type of a cover. I noticed the anti theft thing, too. I think fire's right up. It runs great. But as I pushed that button in, I was like, huh, I wonder if that's supposed to have a cover on it. Seems so in a Peugeot. These feel real, um, I don't know if these were a CVT tranny or not. It feels kind of CVT-ish. I don't think so though, but then again, the way that rear end's in there, it almost seems like that type of a setup. But it does have the one, two, three drive, so I'm thinking it's a more actual automatic in the real sense of the word. <laughs> Any way you look at it, it's a great running car. One owner car that's been well taken care of and you just don't see a lot of these around. That's for sure. Now maybe in Europe, but not here. Tack and everything. I'm gonna go ahead, oh, you know what? I was gonna show you this before I forgot to. It's got the electric mirrors. In, out, up, other side, out, in, up, down. Cool. Well, my name is Nathan. Oh, heated seats. Yes, it does. Well, fog lights and all. Lots of options. Cruise, fully loaded. Nice car, 2.2i. Nathan, 406-544-6919. One owner car guy. Don't know where I'll clip this in, but it'll be somewhere. Thanks for watching.